Avoid these 18 worst daily habits that can destroy your kidneys fast. Are you unknowingly destroying your kidneys with your daily routines and habits? Some seemingly harmless activities, through daily repetition, can silently kill your kidneys, putting your life at risk. So don't go about your day without learning what those bad habits are. The fact is, 90% of Americans don't notice kidney problems until they become serious. Our bodies often mask early kidney disease, with severe damage occurring before symptoms surface. So, when the symptoms do appear, for example, you may feel swelling, brain fog, fatigue, weakness, muscle twitches and cramps, back pain, etc. It can be too late already, as kidney disease in its later stage is tougher and expensive to treat. It's crucial to note that most cases of kidney damage cannot be repaired, especially chronic ones. If kidneys struggle, toxins will build up inside your body, leading to multiple types of health problems and terrible, terrible pain. The worst scenario is kidney failure, where you would need dialysis or a kidney transplant to stay alive. Now, here is a simple game changer. Your lifestyle. Good daily habits can safeguard your kidneys while others silently harm them. It's your choice. Risk kidney damage with harmful habits or make informed decisions to protect your kidney health. But before making any changes, understanding is essential. And we are here to reveal the 18 worst daily habits that can destroy your kidney fast. In the next few minutes, we'll not only point out these harmful habits, but also give you practical tips and solutions to keep your kidneys healthy. Brace yourselves for some shocking revelations. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. Alright, it's time to swing back to the worst daily habits that can destroy your kidneys fast. 18. Excessive Salt Intake Imagine a quiet threat hidden in your everyday meals. One so common that it's often overlooked. Too much salt. Salt or sodium chloride is essential for many bodily functions. However, high salt intake poses a daunting challenge for the kidneys, which filter waste from your blood. The issue begins with hyperfiltration, where the kidneys work overtime to remove excess salt. Simply put, salt molecules are heavy for passage through the kidney nephrons, causing higher glomerular pressure. This extra workload doesn't just tire out the kidneys. It can lead to kidney damage and disease. Moreover, a high sodium intake can reduce the effectiveness of certain kidney-protecting drugs such as angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors and calcium antagonists. Also, consuming too much salt can disrupt the delicate balance between sodium and potassium, further decreasing kidney function. The World Health Organization, or WHO, recommends consuming less than 2 grams of sodium per day per person. However, Americans currently consume 50% more salt than the recommended daily limit. Processed foods such as instant noodles, canned goods, and pickles are high in sodium and can harm your kidneys. To maintain good kidney health, try cutting down on sodium and flavoring your food with herbs and spices instead of salt. For example, instead of using garlic salt, go for garlic powder. Plus, try making a habit of reading food labels. When you're shopping, go for fresh meats, fruits, and veggies, which tend to have less sodium than packaged options. It typically takes about six to eight weeks for your taste buds to get used to lower sodium levels. But once you adjust, you may find that your previously enjoyable foods like potato chips taste too salty. If you're enjoying our video so far, please give us some hints by dropping a like. And we'll make more content like this. 17. 
excessive sugar intake the transition from a sweet treat to a bitter kidney outcome begins when blood sugar levels rise above 180 mg per deciliter. At this critical threshold, your kidneys, to manage the overload, start secreting sugar into your urine. This might sound like a safety valve, but it's actually the starting point of potential kidney damage. The high sugar content in your bloodstream can harm the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys, impairing their filtration ability. This damage can manifest as proteinuria, where your body loses valuable proteins in urine. Over time, proteinuria can advance to chronic kidney disease, and if not managed well, it could even progress to end-stage renal failure. Moreover, the ripple effect of high sugar intake raises blood pressure putting additional strain on the kidneys. This increased workload can speed up the development of chronic kidney disease and even end-stage renal disease. Excessive sugar intake poses a significant risk to kidney health, as highlighted in a study published by Frontiers in Nutrition in 2023 and reported by Harvard Health. The study followed 28. 303 adults for 11 years and revealed an 88% higher risk of developing kidney stones in people who got 25% or more of their daily calories from added sugars compared to those who ate less sugar. This research underscores the need to cut down on added sugar to safeguard kidney health and prevent kidney stone formation. To minimize the health risks associated with excessive sugar intake, limit processed foods and sugary drinks, which often contain high levels of added sugars. Instead, go for whole foods and natural sweeteners. A kidney-friendly diet should include plenty of fruits, vegetables, healthy fats, and lean proteins while cutting back on salt, sugar, and refined carbohydrates. 16. Excessive meat intake Too much consumption of meat, particularly red meat, generates more acid load during digestion than plant-based proteins. This extra acidity can strain the kidneys and may contribute to both the development and acceleration of chronic kidney disease. Over time, this condition can lead to kidney failure. Substituting red meat with other protein sources, such as fish, poultry, or plant-based options, can greatly lower the risk of kidney damage. Plant-based proteins in lean meats like poultry and fish are better choices. This is because they produce less dietary acid and fewer harmful byproducts like advanced glycation end products and uremic toxins. A study from 2017 found that a high intake of acid-producing red meat in combination with a low intake of base-producing plant proteins like chickpeas, broccoli, or beans could induce kidney injury. These findings suggest that excessive meat intake could be bad for kidney health and could lead to CKD and ESRD, even in individuals without identifiable risks. So. It's a good idea to swap out red meat for plant-based protein sources, such as soy and legumes, to help protect kidney health. Another harmful effect of eating too much meat is the production of uremic toxins in the gut, such as trimethylamine anoxide, or TMAO in short, endoxyl sulfate, and p cresyl sulfate. These toxins are linked to a higher risk of death from heart problems and could speed up the progression of kidney disease. Furthermore, a high protein intake, especially from animal sources, can harm your kidneys by raising blood flow and pressure in them. This can cause glomerular hyperfiltration, which may speed up the progression of chronic kidney disease. Current dietary guidelines recommend a protein intake of 0. 0.6-0. 8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, if you have chronic kidney disease but aren't on dialysis. If you are on dialysis, it's recommended to eat 1 to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. 15. Excessive, strenuous exercise. Too much intense exercise can lead to kidney damage in different ways. 
One primary cause is rhabdomyolysis, a condition where intense workouts make muscle cells break down, releasing a protein called myoglobin into the bloodstream. This protein can hurt your kidneys. Factors that increase the risk of rhabdomyolysis include dehydration, certain muscle conditions, use of pain relievers like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, heavy drinking, hot weather, and how hard you exercise. A 2022 study published by the Sport Journal looked at how different types of exercise affect kidney diseases. They found that moderate intensity and long-term exercise is generally beneficial for patients with acute and chronic kidney disease. In contrast, strenuous exercise, especially if you don't drink enough water and it's hot outside, can cause sudden kidney damage and make kidney diseases worse, possibly leading to kidney failure. Furthermore, endurance events can cause acute kidney injury, or AKI due to pigment nephropathy. This occurs when myoglobin from damaged muscles and hemoglobin from damaged red blood cells cause kidney blood vessels to narrow. This narrowing can harm the kidney tubes, directly causing tubular toxicity. This type of kidney injury is more likely in dehydrated people, those with rhabdomyolysis, or those who use drugs like incense. We've got more details on that coming up in the next section. To break the habit of excessive strenuous exercise and protect your kidney health, listen to your body. Slow down if the exercise feels too hard, if you feel muscle or joint pain, if it is difficult to talk due to heavy breathing, if your heart is racing, or if you don't recover within an hour after exercising. It's smart to use an app to monitor your progress and adjust your exercise routine as needed. 14. Overuse of painkillers Overuse of painkillers can harm your kidneys, a condition known as analgesic nephropathy. This often occurs from long-term use of pain relievers or analgesics, especially those over-the-counter drugs with acetaminophen or NSAIDs, such as aspirin, ibuprofen, or naproxen. People who self-treat with over-the-counter painkillers for chronic issues such as headaches or arthritis should be cautious. Even though these medicines are easy to get, they shouldn't be taken daily or regularly without consulting your healthcare provider first. Thousands of Americans have damaged their kidneys by using these medicines regularly for too long. For people with chronic kidney disease or end-stage renal disease, ESRD in short, NSAIDs pose a big threat because they can decrease blood flow to the kidneys, impair kidney function, and potentially lead to kidney failure. Moreover, NSAIDs may elevate blood pressure, exacerbating kidney damage in these patients. Symptoms of kidney damage from painkillers include feeling tired, needing to pee more often, seeing blood in the urine, having back pain, making less urine, feeling less awake, like feeling sleepy, confused, or tired, having less feeling or numbness. Especially in the legs, feeling nauseous, vomiting, bleeding, and swelling all over the body. 13. Ignoring the urge to urinate. Ignoring the urge to urinate, which is often called ignoring nature's call, can lead to several health issues, including damage to the kidneys. When pee or urine doesn't empty completely from your body, it can lead to a condition called hydronephrosis where one or both kidneys swell. Without treatment, severe hydronephrosis can cause kidney failure. Continuous postponement of urination increases the risk of urinary tract infections, UTIs in short. Because the bladder, when overly full, becomes a breeding ground for bacteria. These infections can then spread to the kidneys and hurt them. Moreover, keeping pee in for a long time can cause the bladder to overstretch, which may harm the bladder itself and put more pressure on the kidneys, potentially resulting in kidney damage. Also, not going to pee when you feel the urge can cause tears in the bladder wall. 
Over time, this can make your bladder hold less pee and make urinary tract infections happen more often, which can complicate further into kidney infection or sepsis. To maintain kidney health and manage the urge to urinate effectively, take regular bathroom breaks and go when you feel the urge, without holding it if it feels uncomfortable. Urinate right after waking up to start your day and set a regular urination cycle. You can schedule regular bathroom breaks by setting alarms to remind yourself to go every two to three hours. This simple tip can help relieve pressure and prevent emergencies. 12. Ignoring urinary tract infections Urinary tract infections, or UTIs in short, are bacterial infections that affect parts of the urinary system, such as the bladder, ureters, kidneys, or urethra. Most urinary tract infections are treatable with antibiotics, but neglecting to address the symptoms can allow the infection to get worse. If left untreated, the infection may spread to the kidneys, a condition called pyelonephritis. This can cause permanent kidney damage or even sepsis, a life-threatening response to infection. The urinary system plays a vital role in filtering waste and balancing fluids in the body. However, in urinary tract infections, when bacteria build up in the urinary tract, they can cause infections. These infections lead to symptoms like pain, frequent urination, a burning sensation, cloudy or bloody urine, and a persistent urge to urinate. A 2014 study in the Turkish Journal of Medical Sciences looked at 276 people with bacteria in their urine, or bacteriuria patients, and focused on urinary tract infections in those with chronic kidney disease. The research highlighted that elderly chronic kidney disease patients, especially women with kidney stones, were more susceptible to upper urinary tract infections. So if you have symptoms of a urinary tract infection, like burning or pain when you pee, it's best to seek medical attention. Your doctor may also test you if you have other urinary or kidney problems, such as kidney stones. Chronic kidney infections can lead to severe complications, such as pyonephrosis. Pus fills up the kidney, potentially resulting in the loss of kidney function. 11. Ignoring high blood pressure. High blood pressure harms the kidneys by damaging the blood vessels that bring blood to them. This damage makes the vessels stiff, reducing blood flow to the kidneys and making them not work as well. Furthermore, the tiny blood vessels inside the kidneys that filter blood may also suffer damage. The relationship between high blood pressure and kidney damage is a big concern because it damages the nephrons, the microscopic structures that filter blood within the kidneys. When the blood vessels feeding the nephrons get hurt, they do not receive enough oxygen and nutrients, leading to further kidney impairment. This creates a detrimental cycle, where kidney damage makes it harder to control blood pressure, which in turn can lead to kidney failure. A study published in the American College of Physicians Journal in 2005 explored how high blood pressure affects kidney disease in different ethnic groups. The research, involving 1, 172 participants, found that the risk of kidney failure was 32% lower in the low blood pressure group compared to the usual blood pressure group. Similarly, the risk of kidney failure or death was 23% lower in the low blood pressure group. This study highlights how important it is to find and treat high blood pressure early to prevent kidney disease. Preventing kidney damage from high blood pressure needs long-term management strategies. Lifestyle changes such as increasing physical activity, staying at a healthy weight, quitting smoking, managing stress and eating less salt are crucial in lowering blood pressure. These changes can really cut down on the risk of developing kidney damage. Additionally, medications specifically designed to lower blood pressure, such as angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE in short, inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers, 
ARBs in short, play a key role in slowing the progression of kidney disease related to high blood pressure, poorly managed diabetes. High blood sugar levels linked with diabetes can cause damage to the blood vessels and nephrons within the kidneys, the tiny structures that filter blood. This harm can impair kidney function, leading to chronic kidney disease. According to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, or NIDDK, diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease. About one out of three adults with diabetes have kidney disease. The National Kidney Foundation, or NKF, also emphasizes that diabetes is a major risk factor for CKD. So, the longer someone lives with diabetes, the more likely they are to develop kidney disease. This connection highlights the importance of managing diabetes well to prevent diabetic kidney disease, or DKD, which can progress to end-stage renal disease, or ESRD, if not treated right. High blood pressure, a common complication of diabetes, can further damage the kidneys by harming the blood vessels needed for filtering and regulating, as we mentioned in the previous section. Therefore, managing diabetes effectively also means controlling blood pressure, along with blood sugar and cholesterol levels. This comprehensive approach should include a healthy diet, regular exercise, adherence to prescribed medications, and regular medical checkups to monitor kidney function. 9. Skipping regular exercise. Exercise offers numerous benefits for people with kidney disease, including improved blood pressure control, better sleep quality, enhanced physical strength, and reductions in anxiety and depression. Conversely, not exercising regularly can take away these benefits and may even worsen kidney function. But as we mentioned before, it is important to remember that while exercise is beneficial, intense physical activity, especially in hot weather, can lead to dehydration and exacerbate kidney issues. Therefore, moderation and appropriate exercise routines are critical for individuals with kidney concerns. Studies have long shown that not being active enough can lead to decreased strength and exercise capacity, which is commonly seen in patients with CKD. A review from Cochrane in 2011 explored the benefits of exercise training for adults with CKD. The review, which included 45 studies with 1863 participants, found that regular exercise makes you fitter, increases aerobic capacity, and increases the amount of oxygen your body can use by about 56%. Additionally, exercise reduces blood pressure and heart rate while enhancing health-related quality of life. These data show how important it is to make lasting changes in your life to be more active and improve kidney health. To overcome the habit of skipping regular exercise and support your kidney health each week, Try to do at least 30 minutes of moderate activity, like running, cycling, walking, or dancing. If you're new to exercise or have kidney issues, start with small, gentle movements and gradually increase intensity to avoid injury. Consistent, short sessions often work better than infrequent, long ones. Here's a handy tip to keep you motivated and on track. Use a journal or online app to track your progress and set fitness goals. Then, celebrate your achievements with rewards that aren't food to keep yourself excited. Plus, choose enjoyable activities like gardening, raking leaves, or seasonal fruit picking. Exercise with friends, family, or colleagues for extra motivation and support. You could even kickstart a walking club at work or schedule regular walks with a friend to make fitness a fun and social habit. 8. Drinking sodas. You might be aware that sodas aren't great, but do you realize just how much they can harm your kidneys? Drinking sodas, particularly colas, can increase the risk of getting CKD due to their lots of sugar and phosphoric acid. 
the high sugar content in sodas can contribute to obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, all of which are risk factors for CKD. Also, the phosphoric acid in cola beverages can lead to urinary changes that increase the likelihood of forming kidney stones, another thing that makes CKD more likely. A 2014 study published in the journal Nephrology Dialysis Transplantation systematically reviewed 17 studies to examine the link between different types of soda and CKD. They found that regular consumption of sugar-sweetened soda was linked with a 58% increased risk of CKD. Even drinking artificially sweetened sodas regularly made the risk of CKD 33% higher compared to not drinking them. So, reducing soda intake may help stop CKD. Instead, choose healthier beverage options like water, unsweetened tea, or low-fat milk to reduce the risk of CKD. 7. Eating processed foods Consuming processed foods especially ultra-processed foods, or UPFs in short, can significantly impact kidney health. UPFs are industrial formulations that have lots of artificial additives, added sugars, refined carbohydrates, unhealthy trans fats, and too much salt. These ingredients make processed foods very tasty and hard to resist, possibly leading to overeating. Worse still, Processed foods are typically low in beneficial nutrients, like fiber and micronutrients. These foods may even contain contaminants from packaging processes. Research highlights that eating a lot of UPFs can be really bad for your kidneys. A study in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases found that people with chronic kidney disease who eat more UPFs are more likely to have their kidney disease get worse and even die. This study underscores the importance of dietary choices in managing kidney health. To protect kidney health, it is advisable to reduce the intake of UPFs and focus on fresh, whole, and homemade foods. Another 24-year study tracked over 14, 000 adults from the U.S. without CKD at the start. People who eat the most UPFs had a 24% higher risk of CKD compared to those who eat the least. Also, replacing just one serving of UPFs with minimally processed options lowered the risk of CKD by 6%. So, reducing the consumption of such processed foods can greatly help mitigate the risk of kidney-related issues. To improve kidney health and lessen the harm from processed foods, Drink plenty of fluids to help your kidneys flush out sodium and toxins and prevent kidney stones. Eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can also support healthy kidneys and lower your chances of related conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes. Writing down what you eat in a food journal can help you see your habits and make healthier choices. Plus, a renal dietitian can provide valuable guidance on making these dietary adjustments to support your kidney and overall well-being. 6. Sitting for too long The relationship between sitting time and kidney disease persisted. Even after accounting for other factors such as age, gender, smoking status, and levels of physical activity, Studies showed that people who sat the least had the lowest risk of developing CKD, no matter how much they usually exercise or how much they weigh. A study from 2022 in the Sports Medicine Journal analyzed data from 455, 506 participants over 21 years. This research found that prolonged sitting at work was linked with a higher risk of kidney problems including a 26% higher risk of chronic kidney disease, a 19% higher risk of needing dialysis, and a 43% higher risk of death from kidney issues. Even a little exercise, like just 15 minutes a day, helped reduce these risks. So it is important to cut down on sitting around to maintain kidney function. 
Here's a smart tip. Even when you're sitting, you can sneak in some exercise. Try keeping a small bottle of water on your desk. Not only will it keep you hydrated, but when it's empty, it's a good reminder to get up and refill it, giving your body a break from sitting. It's like getting two benefits in one for your kidneys. 5. Not drinking enough water. Dehydration occurs when the body loses more water than it takes in, leading electrolytes such as potassium, phosphate, and sodium. These electrolytes are essential for carrying electrical signals or messages between cells. So, if they're not balanced due to inadequate kidney function, it can cause severe health problems, including seizures, involuntary muscle movements, and loss of consciousness. Severe dehydration can even make your kidneys fail, which is life-threatening and can lead to anemia, central nervous system damage, heart failure, and a weaker immune system. Additionally, dehydration can make kidney stones more likely. Complicated UTIs and increase the risk of CKD. So, it is crucial to maintain hydration by keeping your body water level stable, day to day to avoid significant water deficits. Proper fluid intake isn't just about replacing what you lose. It also helps your kidneys get rid of waste, which is a big job they do. However, it's also risky to drink too much water, especially in individuals with kidney problems. When your kidneys do not function properly, waste builds up and excess fluids can dilute important electrolytes leading to nausea, vomiting, headache, fatigue, confusion, low blood pressure, muscle weakness, muscle twitching or cramping, restlessness, irritability, seizures, and even coma. The kidneys are crucial for balancing the body's fluids and filter over 200 liters of fluid each day. Their ability to manage water in the body is largely influenced by hormones such as arginine vasopressin, or AVP in short, and parts of the renin angiotensin system. When levels of AVP are high, the kidneys reabsorb more water, which can increase their workload. Drinking plenty of water can lower AVP levels, potentially easing the strain on your kidneys and helping to keep them working well. However, researchers are still figuring out whether increasing the amount of urine to protect the kidney's filtering capacity, especially in people with CKD, is a good idea. The results from studies have been mixed. To ensure you're drinking enough water and supporting your kidney health, keep an eye on the color of your urine. You want it to be a straw-colored or paler shade, as darker urine often indicates dehydration. Also, limit your intake of caffeinated, sweetened, and alcoholic beverages, as these require more water to process their toxins and chemicals. Instead, choose plain water to stay hydrated. 4. Smoking Smoking harms your kidneys in both the short and long term. In the short term, it can raise your blood pressure and heart rate due to nervous system stimulation. Long-term or chronic effects involve harming the cells lining your blood vessels called endothelial cells. Even being around someone else's smoke, passive smoking, has been linked to elevated enzyme catalyst activity in the kidneys, which can disrupt normal kidney blood flow and lead to kidney damage over time. Smoking can also lead to less blood flow to the kidneys causing conditions like peripheral arterial disease and arteriosclerosis, which also affects renal arteries. If you already have CKD, smoking heightens the risks of heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes, conditions that can accelerate CKD progression and potentially lead to kidney failure. In a study published in the American Journal of Nephrology in 2007, Researchers found a connection between smoking and CKD progression in 11 out of the 12 articles selected, particularly noting that consuming more than 15 packs per year greatly increases CKD risk. 
Furthermore, smoking has been shown to affect renal functions even in healthy individuals. It is associated with an increased risk of developing proteinuria, which means there's too much protein in your urine, particularly in people with high blood pressure and high blood sugar levels. 3. Not getting enough sleep. Inadequate sleep has been linked with more rapid declines in kidney function and faster progression of CKD. This occurs because sleep helps regulate kidney function and keeps the right balance of bodily fluids and electrolytes. Also, sleep affects the regulation of hormones, including those involved in kidney function, such as the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or RAS in short. The RAS helps regulate blood pressure and fluid balance. Disrupted sleep can overactivate the system, raising blood pressure and putting additional strain on the kidneys. Moreover, a lack of sleep often results in non-dipping blood pressure patterns. Normally, blood pressure dips during sleep, giving the cardiovascular system and kidneys a rest. However, Poor sleep can raise nighttime blood pressure, a risk factor for CKD progression. Sleep deprivation has also been shown to increase inflammatory cytokines and activate inflammatory pathways. Chronic inflammation can directly contribute to kidney damage and worsen existing kidney disease. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine in 2019 aimed to investigate the association between sleep, the incidence of CKD in 194,039 participants without CKD aged 20 years or older. Between 1996 and 2014, people who slept fewer than 4 hours, 4 to 6 hours or more than 8 hours, had a 45%. 7%, and 12% increased risk of chronic kidney disease respectively compared to those who slept 6 to 8 hours. Conditions like sleep apnea, which are common in people not getting enough sleep, can cause further kidney damage. Sleep apnea often leads to repeated nightly hypoxia, or low oxygen levels, which exacerbates kidney function decline. Furthermore, Chronic sleep deprivation is associated with several health issues, such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension, all of which are risk factors for CKD. These conditions can initiate or worsen kidney damage over time. To combat the habit of not getting enough sleep and protect your kidney health, try these steps. Create a peaceful sleep environment by making sure your bedroom is cool dark, and quiet. Establish a consistent sleep schedule by going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Also, regular physical activity and exposure to fresh air can help you fall asleep more easily and enjoy better sleep quality. 2. Excessive alcohol consumption According to the National Kidney Foundation, excessive alcohol consumption doubles the risk of kidney disease. Alcohol can cause kidney damage because it cannot filter out all the toxins from alcohol fast enough, and it increases the likelihood of high blood pressure, a leading cause of kidney issues. Moreover, alcohol-induced dehydration disrupts kidney function and alters the body's water and mineral balance. Also, a liver disease resulting from alcohol abuse can further harm the kidneys by affecting blood flow to the kidneys and increasing their workload. Worse still, binge drinking can cause acute kidney injury due to sudden spikes in blood alcohol levels. A study published in 2019 in the journal Nutrients investigated the relationship between alcohol consumption and chronic kidney disease. In this study, scientists followed 45, 200 adults over 8, 5 years and found that heavy drinking increases the risk of CKD by 15%. It's crucial for individuals, especially those with medical conditions or on certain medications, to either avoid alcohol entirely or practice moderation, 
as excessive alcohol consumption can lead to increased blood pressure that is detrimental to kidney health. 1. Excessive Caffeine Consumption Excessive caffeine intake, typically defined as above 400 mg per day, especially in individuals with specific genetic variants, like the reference SNP762551 variant in the CYP1A2 gene, can lead to kidney dysfunction. Caffeine works as a diuretic at higher doses. However, at low to moderate doses, it may actually be kidney protective in healthy people. This happens because caffeine is similar in structure to adenosine, the hormone that affects blood flow in the kidneys. Caffeine is a natural diuretic, which means it stimulates urine production in the kidneys, expelling both water and electrolytes. A study published in the Journal of Renal Nutrients in 2007 found that high levels of daily caffeine consumption may increase the risk of acute kidney injury in thoracic cancer patients undergoing platinum salt chemotherapy who are already exposed to nephrotoxic compounds. Out of 108 patients undergoing chemotherapy, 34 developed AKI, and those patients consuming high levels of caffeine, greater than or equal to 386 mg per day, face double the AKI risk compared to others. Drinking a moderate amount of caffeine is generally okay for your kidneys, but it's essential to be careful, especially if you drink a lot or have kidney issues. To reduce excessive caffeine intake and its impact on kidney health, switch to decaffeinated coffee or tea to enjoy their flavor and potential health benefits without caffeine. Use alternative sources of energy like water, fruits, and vegetables to stay hydrated and receive essential nutrients. Consider limiting or avoiding foods and drinks that naturally contain caffeine. For example, dark chocolate has a high caffeine concentration. Sodas like Coca-Cola and Mountain Dew also contain high levels of caffeine. Warning Signs of Kidney Diseases As people age, the risk of kidney and urinary tract diseases also increases. When your kidney disease becomes severe, you might notice some symptoms. Swelling in hands and feet Swelling happens because the kidneys struggle to balance fluids. For more information, visit www.fema.gov causing retention that bloats the body's limbs. 2. Fatigue and Weakness Erythropoietin is a vital hormone for creating red blood cells and keeping you energized. When you have kidney disease, the production of erythropoietin drops. This decline can lead to anemia or lack of blood cells making you feel constantly tired and drained of energy. 3. Muscle twitches and cramps Kidney function issues can electrolytes, directly resulting in muscle twitches and cramps. 4. Cognitive impairment A foggy brain and trouble thinking clearly can arise from the buildup of toxins in the blood. Do you remember? Toxin buildup occurs because the kidneys aren't working as well. 5. Back pain Back pain, despite often being dismissed, can be a telltale sign of kidney distress, whether from damage or developing kidney stones. 6. Increased urination, your kidneys attempt to expel waste more frequently, is a sign of their distress, which shouldn't be ignored. Recognizing these signs isn't just about seeing a kidney problem, it's about acting early to stop it from getting worse. Early detection and management can greatly change the course of kidney disease. The National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, or NIDDK in short, underscores the importance of getting tested for kidney disease if you're battling diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, or have a family history of kidney failure. This is because finding kidney disease early can really slow down, or even stop its progression. By adopting a healthy diet, embracing physical activity, aiming for a healthy weight, 
and managing underlying health conditions, you're not just protecting your kidneys. You're taking a stand for a happier, healthier life. Keeping our kidneys healthy involves avoiding certain daily habits that can cause harm. These include excessive salt, sugar, meat, and caffeine intake, as well as overuse of painkillers, ignoring urinary urges and infections, sitting for too long, not getting enough sleep, and excessive alcohol and caffeine consumption. These habits tend to mess with more than just your kidneys, don't they? Any of them sound like something you do? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's swap ideas on how to break free from these bad habits. It might help someone else in our community. It's important to prioritize a healthy lifestyle, which includes a balanced diet low in processed foods, staying hydrated, and avoiding harmful substances like tobacco and excessive alcohol. Moreover, it's always helpful to embrace physical activity, aim for a healthy weight, and manage underlying health conditions like diabetes and hypertension. Again, if you have any concerns about your kidney health or experiencing symptoms related to kidney issues, it's crucial to consult your doctor for proper evaluation and guidance. For those interested in the evidence, the studies supporting our claims are provided in the description box. To explore more common foods that can destroy your www.cdc.gov, check out the video on the screen. You might find some of these foods already in your kitchen. We'll also share tips on how to enjoy these foods or find alternatives with the maximum kidney benefits. See you there. Stay informed. Stay healthy.